Hi, my name is Matt Murphy from Cycle Recycle, and today I'd like to talk about how over oiling and lubricating your bike can actually cost you a fortune. What we've got here is an example of a really, really over oiled bike. Now, if like me, born in the 70s, when I can remember being told you need to oil your bike once a week, that works fine with the old three speed Sturmey Archer because they required lubricant, but let me just show you how dirty this is. This is one of the rags we use at work, and it's constantly taking stuff like that off a chain. You can see what's done to my fingers. So it's been over oiled. Now, oil when it goes on, it isn't that horrible black colour, it's actually clear. So, what is that? What is on the chain? Well, as this person who rode this bike has been riding it, what they've basically done is this, the bike oil is sticky and it's picked up all of the dust, all of the micro um, abrasions on the road and it's stuck into this dark, like a cutting paste. And what it's done is over time is it will wear down the sprockets and the chain rings and it will do it really quickly. You can see there's so much oil on this chain, it is quite disturbing. So what sort of damage can it do? This is an example of a brand new chain ring. You can see that the teeth are like screwdriver ends, they're blunt, they're quite obvious. Uh, channels for the chain to sit in. This is probably the worst one we've ever seen purely because it was horrific. So you can see, well, I hope you can, you can see that the teeth have turned into shark's teeth. They're pointy, they're worn round here and that's because the chain is covered in cutting paste and it's just worn down the teeth. So what happens is, is your chain sits on there, you go to apply some power and it jumps. Nine times out of 10, probably 99 times out of 100, if your chain is jumping under load, it's because everything's worn out. But you can test for this. Testing for it's really, really easy. All you need is a chain wear tool. So not only is it causing damage, a worn and oily, dirty chains causing damage to the chain set and the sprockets. It's also wearing all the chain out. And it's important to remember that there's more moving parts in the chain than there is in the whole rest of the whole bike. So you need to look after your chain. So a chain wear tool like this will tell you whether it's 0.75% worn or 1% worn. So if we put it on the 1%, if that drops straight through, like it has, that means the chain is worn, which means the whole of the drivetrain is worn and it's because, so in order to fix this problem we'd need to replace the sprocket, the chain and the chain rings in order to do it, which is a really expensive job. This could have been avoided if the person who owned the bike hadn't have used so much lubricant on their bike. It picks up everything, there's fluff and everything on here. To replace all of this on this bike is well over you could probably buy 20 bottles of oil for the same price. So we need to think about what the best way to manage your chain is. The easiest way to do it, after a ride, maybe once every two weeks, is put a light oil, something like WD-40, GT-85. We use, in the shop here, we use um, TF2, Ultimate Lubricant Spray. When you, get, when you can, just pedal the bike backwards, spray it on, like that, after you ride. And remember that this is a really filthy chain, yours will be new. And then hold onto the chain and get it off. And you can see how much junk is coming off this chain. It is just so dirty. And you should get to a stage, once you've done this enough times, that it actually starts to look quite clean. This chain will never be back to its normal glory purely because it's now one, more than 1% worn and everything is working on is worn. But you can see just how much junk 
is coming off this bike and that's just grit. I can show you because oil when it goes on is clear. This is all the muck that's coming off it. If you haven't got one of these brilliant handy chain wear tools, and I recommend you get one because if you're ever buying a bicycle, the person who's selling it might say, oh, it's hardly been ridden, and you can put one of these on and go, yes, it has. These are really good value. It's one of the most important tools in my toolbox. If you haven't got one of these, if you get a screwdriver, you can measure chain wear by pulling on one of the sprockets, and if everything moves like this is, and the same this end, if everything moves when you when you move one, then you know that that's going to be an expensive bill. So easy to avoid, just don't coat it in oil.